everybody, it's Christy here, back with another 15 Minute Friday video. I just want to say welcome to all my new viewers. And um, I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube community and become a subscriber if you like what you see. I do have other videos on my channel that you can always check out. So, um, every Friday I post a video. Well, I try every Friday to post a video. Uh, it's 15 minutes of just creative stuff. So maybe um, the past it's been scrapbooking. I've done a kind of art journal and traveler's notebooks. So anyways, I usually do something smaller in size so I can get more accomplished. And today I am working on another entry in my six by eight album. And what I've been doing is I've been going through and as some of these prompts spark something i've been doing a page so i did one um with the word and i like to use these acrylic words um these are from ali edwards uh stories by the month kit i believe yeah stories by the month and i guess it's just called stories kit sorry i'm like trying i'm fixating uh, so this was the theme was watch and there's a lot of good um, cards this view check this out go and love someone exactly as they are and then watch how quickly they transform into the greatest truest version of themselves when one feels seen and appreciated in their own essence one is instantly empowered i love that watching you play totally love watching this my story watch me as i walk away from things i no longer need in my life and this is definitely going to make it onto a page <laughs> soon um so yeah and this is one of the four by six cards that came in the kit as is this watch your thoughts they become your words and i have been struggling lately um just kind of in a funk and really just discouraged. So when this, when I saw this yesterday, it sparked something in me, which is I think what this kit is designed to do is to spark a story. Um, a lot of times the, a card comes in the kit each month with Allie's handwriting. This is, we do not see things as they are. We see things as we are. And then on the back, there's like, story prompts um there are story sparks where you can write things down but there's also this so what are you currently watching use the prompt i watch what did you watch when you were a kid so this is all about like tv type stuff watching um with your eyes and this is more watching with your mind if that makes sense so i sat down yesterday in my funk first i went to the gym and that was key, <laughs> self-care. So then I came back home and I wrote myself a little note. And I sometimes feel like this is the best way to kind of get it all out. Um, whether I use it for anything or not, writing to me kind of releases something. So I picked out this three by four card. It's gonna go in a page protector. I picked out this four by six card and it is going to go in a page protector. I also have this picture, which I don't know what got on this picture, but there's like stuff all over my face. I don't, it looks like I have like dots and I don't know, a comma on my face. So I will have to reprint this, but it is going to go like so. Although that picture is, I mean, I don't know what happened. Sometimes I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know if it's my printer that's like the paper is not as good. I have a Canon selfie. I don't know. Anyways, and then I wrote this letter. And I'm going to read it to you because I hope that it speaks to you in some way. And maybe you're struggling with the things that I've been struggling with. And, um, you know, I think in our age of, of mental health and mental health awareness, it's important to see each other where they are. So let me read this to you. Dear Christy, you have been doing quite a bit of negative self-talk lately. It isn't like you to be unkind. 
You have a critical mind that overanalyzes every situation, every word spoken, every nuance of nonverbal cueing. But you are internalizing this criticism in a way that is starting to affect who you are. Your light is starting to haze. You are letting the fog of negative thoughts begin to dim your beautiful light. Remember those thoughts become the words that you speak to yourself and those words become the way that you treat yourself. You haven't been taking care of yourself in the ways that you know feed your soul. This is critical to your success and well-being, Christy. The reason is your self-talk has convinced you that you won't be able to achieve the things you desire. This is the furthest thing from the truth. You are one of the most resilient women. Look at all of the circumstances you have been in, adapted to, and risen above. This season may look different than what you anticipated, but it is the season that God has you in right now. There is a purpose. Don't wish this season away because the next season may look incredibly different, leaving you wanting this one back. Remember that feelings are not facts. You may feel alone and forgotten. You may feel unappreciated. It may feel like you are fading away into other people's existence. You matter. Your kids see you. The love they have for you is immeasurable. They absolutely adore you. While their story is the song you hear right now, never forget that your story is theirs as well. That dinner that you dread making is feeding their little bodies to grow into strong young men. That load of laundry that you keep tumbling in the dryer is what clothes their little bodies as they go to school and learn academically and socially. You matter. You are strong and brave. You are doing an amazing job at this mom thing. It's okay if you don't get your to-do list done today. You are not failing. Take care of yourself. Feed your soul. Move your body. You are needed here. You are loved. Now love yourself and speak life. Love, Christy. So I really needed to hear that. <laughs> and I'm going to have to keep reminding me, myself of these things because I sometimes get in this rut. So my plan is I printed this a little bit smaller than six by eight and I wanted to pull in um, some of this color here. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. This is a stripe. There was another color. There's a dot, this one. I think this is the one I'm gonna use actually. So this is the Auburn Lane um, six by eight paper pad, which if you have a Tuesday morning, it has been appearing in Tuesday mornings near us. And these are nice because they just pop right off, perforate right off. Okay, so this is gonna go here, super simple on this side. Um, I might add a little doodad, doodad. I don't know, not sure. Then this is gonna go here. This is from August, one little word prompt, and it was the story I'm telling myself, and then I journaled about it. And I had printed out a couple extra copies, so I wanted to put this here because I feel like this is what, this is the whole gist of this whole thing out. It, the whole page is, sorry, tongue twisted today. And then I like that there. This is one of the chipboard pieces that comes in the monthly kit. So if you get the story subscription and actually the stories by the month subscription, both come with the chipboard. So, and I got the add-on, there was like an add-on chipboard this month, which was these um, like asterisks and it was a two pack. So it was asterisks and this um, like word stuff which I might use, but I'm not sure yet. And then this was for the watch theme. Nothing better, I've learned so much from watching you live your life, binge watch, watching on demand, watch this, wow, oh my, OMG, LOL. Number one I watch, number two I watch, number three I watch, and this episode. So I thought this was like the one that was kind of like neutral to what was going on here. And so it's gonna go like so. Um, so I hope that you're well. Is there anything that you have been kind of struggling with lately? Um, 
you know, it's just hard. Life is hard. We need each other, you know? We need a community. And I think that that's the piece that so many people lose sight of is community is so healthy when when you when utilized in the best way you know so i am going to use these i have no idea what kit this came in but obviously i'm not going to use it on this picture because this is not the picture that i'm going to be using so i'm going to put a little adhesive thingy if you don't have one of these this is by ek success it's basically just baby powder with a brush tip, not a brush, but like, and you just dab it and it puts powder on the back and makes it non-sticky. Awesome, huh? I love that thing because I am a non-committal kind of person. It takes me a while to commit <laughs> to putting something down on my page. So that's what that's going to look like. And this is going to go here. Best moment. And then I was going to use... Nail press. I was going to use some of this. Um, here. But I don't know what color. I mean, I guess I could use this. Uh, put more stickers. I've had these stickers for like a while. I don't, sometimes I, so I, I'll show you how I organize my Ali Edwards stories, etc., and Ali Edwards product in general. Um, I am a huge lover of Ali's products because it encourages you to tell your story, even the stories that are really difficult to tell. And I love that. I love that. I need the encouragement to do that. That being said, I have tons of Ali Edwards products. <laughs> this is all of my word stickers and all the stickers. So basically anything that is on this kind of four by six sheet goes in here. And I can just flip through and find all kinds of things that I had no idea I had, ugh, like these stickers, which I don't even know. And then, so these are my stickers. And then this, oh, this is my chipboard. Y'all, you ready for this? <laughs> Y'all ready for this? I, you probably listen to my videos and like, this lady is a nut. These are all my Allie Edwards chipboard um, things. So stories, uh, stories by the month, uh, not stories by the month, story kits. Uh, um, these are, a lot of these are Studio Calico from when I used to subscribe. I do not subscribe to them anymore. I, um canceled that subscription a while ago. So those are all Studio Calico. These boxes are from Ikea. They are in the bathroom section and I think they're called Dragon or something boxes. This, um, the other size comes in a set of two, uh, like medium and a small, and then this one comes by itself and they have lids and you can use the lids as well. I haven't been using the lids as much, but you can use them. Then once I have only a few things left on my sheet, so on the chipboard, let's say I only have one piece left, I go ahead and put the leftovers in this little, isn't this super cute? This is from the Target dollar spot, of course, but I put on, I put in here all the loose ones. So I hope such a lovely day. Oh, um, love this. I mean, I'll just go in here when I'm looking for something like a little touch of something to go on finishing product on a page or the finishing element on a page. I'll go in here and take a peek and see what I can find. So this is my little bowl. It stays here. If there is a time when it gets full, I do have my new setup that I can utilize. And that is the new um, crepe paper 
American Crafts wall organizing kit. Oh, it's all handy. Use it. I don't like that. You know, I don't like that. I think that's too much to pour. Different colors. Okay, so. Um, so that's going to go on that one. And then I might add another one here behind that. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> that is my 15 minutes for this Friday. I, of course, will have close-up videos after this video of my finished product where you can see how everything turned out. All the little bits and bobs that I might have added, taken away, etc. So, yeah, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you guys have a beautiful weekend. I am looking forward to a little bachelorette weekend or not weekend but just a night with my girlfriends um this weekend we only have one two three three weekends oh my gosh we have three weekends to the wedding so super crazy but anyways thank you guys for joining me if you have any questions about products where to find things how i do things any of my storage please ask them below and i'll be glad to get back to you have a great weekend everybody bye Thank you.